After shutting down its auto tours for nearly two months, uh, an area wildlife refuge opened once again and preparing for a busy summer. Here's KQ2's Nick Ingram with more. Los Bluffs National Wildlife Refuge is open once again and is preparing for the summer after temporary closing their auto tours when a strain of highly pathogenic influenza was detected. The auto tour was closed to ensure the safety of our visitors, our volunteers, our staff by eliminating exposure to sick or dead birds. We also want to minimize spread potential to both, to both domestic and wild birds outside of the refuge. According to staff at the refuge, HPAI was detected in three snow geese on March 17th, which led to the auto tours being closed for nearly two months. Uh, we do estimate that between 2,000 and 4,000 snow geese have died on the refuge due to HPAI. As migratory birds uh, continue to move north for the summer, cases are beginning to decline in some states. With cases on a decline, the refuge was able to reopen its auto tours late last week. However, visitors must remain in their vehicles when on the tour. So fishing, hiking, or foot traffic, anything outside of a vehicle along the auto tour is currently prohibited until further notice. However, we do have five hiking trails that are accessible from our main headquarters parking lot. Horn says summer is a busy time for their staff with maintenance projects and water management, but there are a few events throughout the summer the public is welcome to experience. In addition, we also will be having a free fishing event on Saturday, June 11th, which is free fishing weekend in Missouri. Um, so we'll be providing an event in the afternoon and evening for families to come out and enjoy that. And then from June through August, every Thursday evening at 630 for about an hour to an hour and a half, we'll have a junior naturalist program. Reporting, Nick Ingram, KQ2 News. For up-to-date information on Lost Bluffs and upcoming events, you can visit their website or their Facebook page. Links to both can be found with this story on our website at kq2.com.